Hello everyone, uh, Namaskara, myself Prajwal and I am the founder of uh, Vati Roots. As the name suggests, I am you know, doing uh, advanced vertical farming here. My first project is about growing uh, saffron. Uh, my goal is to uh, harvest high quality saffron from this farm. Right now, I know I am doing uh, around 1000 kg of bulbs. Uh, let me just show you my farm first. Okay. This is, you know, uh, whatever you see here, this act like a barrier. Uh, we uh, need to control as much as possible. Like, you know, we do, we, we do not want any insects or fly from outside to enter, you know, into the inside environment. So, uh, this act like a barrier, basically. And it should be present in every farm. Uh, now, uh, you are inside my saffron farm. As you can see, this is the actual, you know, vertical farming setup where I grow uh, saffron. Uh, this, you know, uh, total land area of this room is around 600 square feet. Uh, the growable area is 1000 square feet. As we are growing vertically, you know, we can grow uh, much as possible uh, as it vertical. You can see the trays, I place all the bulbs in the trays. As you can see, uh, these are the custom made racks. Uh, these are around uh, 20 feet long and, you know, uh, I have made 5 stacks around here. Uh, in, you know, uh, there is a gap of around 1.5 feet between each stacks uh, so that the light uh, we need actually minimum one and a feet to you know uh, installation of lights and everything uh, for the plant it actually requires one and a feet i've used you know trays to put the bulbs inside here uh, these are the uh, grow lights uh, full spectrum grow lights uh, whatever the light that is required by the bulbs it's you know uh, produced by the grow lights itself for a crop like uh, uh, saffron uh, to get you know high yield you know high quality saffron you know, uh, threads we need to you know maintain a good wavelength of lights uh, because saffron need different kind of wavelengths from you know germination stage to uh, flowering stage so we need to uh, control that with the use of these grow lights uh, we can easily control we can easily manage we can get more high yields or high quality saffron threads from here and also uh, using these grow lights not only uh, it enhances the plant growth but is it is you know uh, reduces the energy waste as well this is the lux meter uh, this device we use it to you know check the light intensity over here uh, you can you can actually we can see it yeah we need to closely monitor all these things you know uh, every day another important thing uh, to maintain inside the you know vertical farming is maintaining the humidity uh, that's the you know key important factor uh, to maintain that we need to install humidifier, dehumidifier. For me here, I am using this you new know, uh, humidifier and dehumidifier. It also uh, helps me in purifying the air. The capacity of this product is you know based on the room size. For uh, my room size, this product is enough. It can you know uh, maintain humidity around uh, for 600 to 800 square feet of you know, uh, room space. Other key important you know factor is that maintaining the temperature inside the uh, vertical farming. So for the crop like saffron, uh, we need different temperatures at different growth stages. I am using you know a 40,000 BTU per hour you know chiller unit, which can uh, give me uh, up to uh, two degree of you know temperature, up to 30 degree. Uh, typically you know the saffron needs temperature around uh, 10 to 15, 16 degrees Celsius. Uh, this system is more than efficient to you know uh, to grow to maintain to control uh, saffron farming as you can see uh, i have placed the bulbs inside the trays these are the plastic trays these trays are actually used for you know uh, fodder growing of fodder for the livestock i have used the plastic trays because we can control uh, so many diseases from here uh, people also use wooden trays but i don't suggest using wooden trays because it will attract a fungus easily so uh, plastic trays are the better how many times you can use this plastic trays? So this this is not like, you know, until unless it, it get, you know, broken, we can use this. Okay. There is no uh, certain lifetime or something like that for this. Okay. Uh, yeah. Each and every time after uh, extracting the yield, we must sterilize it. Yeah. Hmm. See, uh, before uh, placing the bulbs inside the tray, we need to sterilize the uh, tray as well. Uh, we use neem oil for that. We sterilize, uh, we spray the neem oil, we sterilize it. And then, uh, then only after that, we will place the bulbs inside the tray. Now, can you tell me about this uh, process of saffron farming? Let me just walk you through the you know, uh, uh, process, how we, how we start and everything. So, uh, once you uh, pick the bulbs from the soil, that is during the month of August, uh, you need to uh, you know, uh, segregate all the bulbs based on the size. Uh, in the segregation part only, you need to remove all the unhealthy bulbs. Hmm. Uh, during the segregation process only, we need to remove all the unwanted, unhealthy bulbs, mm. something like this. These won't produce any, you know, flowering. So we need to keep it out in the beginning itself. After the segregation part, you need to, you know, uh, remove all the 
I know unwanted coverings. Okay, you have parts. to peel it, peel it, peel off. it off. Mm -hmm. You have to completely peel it off, and we have to make it something like this. It should be cleaner. Okay. That part is called desilvering, to re to peeling off uh, you know external growth because it you know uh, it affects in growing. Simply, it will also take energy and nutrients mm. actually not required for the flowering stage. Okay. So we just need to peel it off in the beginning stage only. So once the desilvering is done, we will just you know place all the you know bulbs selected bulbs into the trays. and we will move them into the controlled environment we don't want any npk or anything else for this no we don't use any fertilizers either organic or inorganic or chemicals we don't use any fertilizers sir in the process you have told that told us about uh, how to process the bulb select the bulb and keep it in the tray after that how long it will take for the flowering see uh, once we uh, take out the bulbs from the soil and uh, we Uh, do segregation and everything and we uh, move into the controlled environment uh, the bulbs will still be in the sleeping room you know sleeping you know uh, stage only so okay. we need to uh, maintain you know the same environment inside also for another uh, 10 15 days once mm -hmm. we move inside the uh, uh, you know controlled environment because we need to wake them up so we cannot you know uh, give the you know uh, spike the temperature at once we need to gradually keep on you know reducing the temperature mm -hmm. Uh, till around 16 17 degree celsius what will be the initial temperature when you keep here see we need to maintain whatever the outside temperature hmm. see the bulbs are you know in the soil and the temperature uh, was around 20 22 degree celsius we need to maintain uh, that only for initial few days and we need to gradually increase the you know temperature to 15 16 degree celsius so can it be operated with with the mobile phone itself from wherever we want or else we must be here for this all this automation thing see uh, what i have done is here i have mm. placed the sensors here mm. uh, there is only one drawback that is a chiller unit mm. for chiller unit you need to be here okay uh, to you know change the temperature and everything but to check the temperature to check the humidity for operation of the humidity everything we can it can be done remotely anywhere okay uh, you know we can uh, use you know you can put it you know you can operate from the mobile itself okay. lights humidifier everything okay see uh, it's a 3 month cycle so uh, by end of uh, september you will see you know if the bulbs are successfully out of dormancy stage you will see the uh, sprouts hmm. uh, by end of you know uh, after september the temperature again changes hmm. you need to gradually decrease again Mm. from 18 to 15 degree so then uh, the sprouts you know uh, we need to increase the light as well mm. uh, we need, uh, during the flowering stage the light required is around 3000 lux we need to uh, bring from 300 to 3000 lux lux okay the light intensity from the grow lights mm. because uh, 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 during the different you know growing stages it mm. requires you know different you know photosynthesis yeah. mm. light wave lens mm. so we, we need to mimic exactly here using mm. the grow lights mm. and later uh, during you know by end of october uh, you will see the flowers during the flowering stage you need to bring down the temperature to 10 degree okay 9 to 10 degree mm. 11 degree 12 mm. degree something below 12 mm. degree mm. so that's when you see the flowers okay you need to give like you know uh, temperature shock okay by end of october mm. so if you bring down the temperature to 12 degree uh, the flowering will happen will start happening okay then now uh, you need to you know harvest the flowers you need to remove the three stigmas that you mm. uh, that's case sir uh, you can dry it out you can use a you know uh, eater as well to dry it out or you can dry it out you know naturally mm. uh, then you can store it it's you no know, there is no life for it shelf life for it okay so the whole process about Six months over here in this. No, no, no. This okay. is only three month cycle. Okay. So it starts from uh, mid of August mm. and ends by December second week, mm. maximum December month, end of December. Okay. So again, once the flowering is done, that bulb uh, we should move into the soil again. Mm. It will again go to the dormancy stage. Okay. That will be for uh, six months. Yeah. Mm. Till next in you know, August. Okay. Sir, uh, this saffron farming can it be done for a whole year? No. See, uh, there are people outside India. we are growing you know uh, getting multiple harvest in a year but in india that's limited see the bulb cycle is it only flowers during the winter season there is a possibility hmm. but in india as of now uh, we can only harvest once a year once a year okay hmm. even in the controlled environment also we can only harvest only you know once a year okay what about those bulbs we must buy regularly from a third party or else we can culture it uh, no not like culture and everything it's a one time buy only so each and you know uh, during the dormancy stage uh, the bulbs will multiply like one bulb will give another extra two bulbs 
hmm. something like that it will multiply so hmm. for example if you buy 500 kg by next year it will be around 700 to 800 kg the bulbs okay. will multiply okay shall we see what we have done over yeah. there <laughs> so whatever i uh, explained till now that happens inside the controlled environment once the flowering is done uh, we need to move all the bulbs uh, as it, as it enters the dormancy stage we need to uh, put it in, put it back in the soil itself so this is the bed that i have prepared for the dormancy period here you uh, know it's a mixture of you know uh, soil and vermicompost 60 40 ratio so uh, this is experimental for me as well uh, i'm just you know uh, transferring all the bulbs which have uh, given the flowers after the harvest i'll just put it here for the next 6 months so uh, during the do dormancy uh, the multiplication will happen okay. what about maintenance in saffron farming is it very much difficult in initial time or else uh, is it normal so uh, you are asking about maintaining cleanliness yeah hygiene and everything mm. see that is the most important thing mm. that we need to follow mm. uh, while you know uh, growing uh, vertically whatever you grow vertically uh, in the environment you need to maintain good hygiene inside the controlled environment okay see uh, we we have a separate sops for everything here uh, starting from you know bulbs trays uh, we first you know uh, treat them with a neem oil disinfect them and sterilize them and then we move inside the uh, controlled environment that's the process we follow here uh, we restrict you know access for everyone here so we uh, basic things are like we use gloves every time ear nets we use because the, these are the basic things that we need to maintain otherwise it will be a high risk for you know bacteria or you know pests in, in you know insects uh, it will attract so we need to maintain a clear hygiene inside the controlled environment uh, we need to uh, you know regularly monitor co2 levels as well uh, there are there is you no know, uh, 800 to 1000 is the optimum you know ppm co2 levels that we need to maintain for the saffron so if it is higher than that there is a high risk of fungi attack okay so we need to regularly monitor this sir let's come to the marketing part okay how we are plan to market all these saffron okay Uh, see initially i thought of you know selling everything in wholesale but the investment we made here uh, in the mo we cannot you know get the returns in the wholesale market mm. that's why i want to you know uh, set up my own uh, product own brand to you know sell the saffron you see saffron is something like not everybody buys it's a limited audience for specific purposes only the people will buy the you know uh, saffron it's like a luxury product uh, not everybody buys so we need to target those people so i'm working on my own packaging my own branding it will be out in uh, coming days like in month of january i plan to launch hmm. right now i've sent my you know whatever the saffron harvested i've sent it for the uh, lab test and everything once i get the you know certificate from the labs uh, you know, then you know uh, i plan to you know Uh, get the FSSI certificate as well. Then I want to launch my own product. That's the you know uh, uh, marketing uh, thing that I have right now. Sir, you are talking about investment. What is the investment you have made in this uh, vertical saffron farming? What about the ROI? Uh, see, uh, this is you know I can say this is one of the biggest you know uh, vertical farming in India. Uh, see, I have invested around thirty five lakhs to it. Uh, mm. See, uh, the, uh, when it when you come to ROI. it's like 3 years plan minus 3 years plan okay so uh, uh, i will start getting revenue from the third year okay you have started before 6 months yeah so we can we can see in the medias that uh, there is lacks of uh, income in this saffron farming people are telling like that actually what is the actual revenue from this saffron farming see uh, uh, i don't want to offend anyone but you know uh, if you uh, uh, you can earn in lacks that's for sure there's a scope for it there's a demand for it but Uh, to earn to uh, for example if you want to harvest 1 kg of saffron you need to make a you know a uh, lot of investment the investment is high if you want to harvest directly 1 kg saffron it's a step by step process as a you know bulbs multiply you need to you know uh, start with a minimal you know uh, uh, quantity mm -hmm. you need to achieve 1 kg in third year mm -hmm. that's that's what my plan is okay i started with 1000 kg of bulbs now there also all the thousand all the bulbs won't give you flower okay you can eliminate 30% straight away mm. there will be a wastage mm. there will fungus. be a fungus you know affected bulbs and some bulbs you know the doesn't produce you know flowers you can only expect 40 to 50% of the bulbs will produce flowers and then you know average you can harvest around you know uh, 200 to 300 grams for every you know 1000 kg of bulb okay that uh, that is what with my experience i can say Okay. Is there any export opportunities for this? Yeah. So people in you know uh, Dubai, London, all these countries, they prefer using saffron because it has got lot of you know medicinal value. Uh, you know uh, luxury cuisines. Uh, the people you know chefs use the you know saffron. The demand is high. 
that is what that's why the high price uh, because i can see many articles or posts like uh, if we invest minimal investment in the saffron farming you can earn in lakhs uh, is it possible like that see uh, for commercially feasible project you need to go with a minimum 500 square feet you know, space indoor environment you can even start with a 10 by 10 room that's 100 square feet mm -hmm. but you can uh, maximum you can harvest around 300 grams from there okay see uh, you can calculate yourself uh, uh, if you keep an average 500 rupees per gram how much you can expect okay so the average cost is 500 rupees per gram uh, yeah the quality is important mm -hmm. see if the quality is good then people will buy uh, the one more question is that there are demand for these bulbs uh, why don't you go and sell those bulbs alone initially no, no, i don't want to sell any bulbs see as as i told my plan is to you know uh, uh, produce 1 kg of saffron the third year okay see uh, i cannot go and buy the bulbs that can entire bulbs that can produce 1 kg of saffron that will be an other you know huge investment mm. so what we have to do is uh, we have to act achieve that step by step so whatever i have done is i bought only 1000 kg of bulbs now uh, by the third year this 1000 kg will become 2.5 to 3 kg 3000 kg uh, with a proper multiplication process and all in the third year i can harvest and you know 1 uh, kg of saffron closer to 1 kg okay it's not like if you want buy uh, you know 3000 kg of bulb it will be 30 lakhs rupees because the bulbs rate also very high right now okay that's why i don't want to sell any bulbs one more thing is that how you use technology in saffron farming technology means i have automated everything here from grow lights to uh, temperature control humidity control i place sensors here mm. uh, set up rules like you know if the temperature goes below this you know uh, certain trigger should happen uh, the grow light should you know uh, switch on at this time and switch off at this time something the basic automation i have done here uh, in the future i have plan to develop my own system for this you know complete solution for indoor farming to grow saffron or any other you know product any other you know produce sir one more question is that what is the advice you want to give for the people who are interested in doing saffron the saffron uh, indoor farming is you know is a new trend okay is, as it is a controlled environment we don't you know we can eliminate most of the risk involved here uh, so my you know uh, advice is that you do your homework you research you do you make a plan perfect business plan then execute it it should be a long term plan you won't touch you won't you know get revenue in the first year itself it's a long run you need to dedicate your time you everything you know that's the you know it's not like you know in a, in a year you will become a Uh, you will earn so much of money it's a long process we need to plan it out properly that's how it works uh, one more question is that what is your future vision see uh, i you know uh, i came into this field with a vision like you know i want to grow uh, exotic crops like you know i yield you know uh, crops in in a indoor environment right now i started with saffron later i want to you know uh, try with uh, mushrooms as well cordyceps mushroom especially also i want to try with microgreens because these fetch you know uh, these are the high revenue uh, giving you know crops uh, that's the you know main thing i i want to you know uh, create a complete indoor environment indoor you know uh, controlled environment system for growing plants sir uh, thank you for your time after 3 years we shall meet again to document about your success of your farm thank you uh, so much uh, mr saminathan from you know country farms for interviewing me and you know uh, showing my you know my vision and whatever i'm doing it here to the people i thank you so much thank you very much thank you. and i wish you good luck as well thank you thank you so much